everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how to take a quadratic function that's in vertex form and write it in standard form. So we see here at the top where we have vertex form and we want to change that into standard form. Okay, So we're going to start off basically with just the vertex of our parabola. We're going to plug that into vertex form and then we'll simplify it to get it to standard form. Okay, So let's take a look. It says our vertex is negative 3, negative 2. So we're going to start off and say f of x is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. And so remember our vertex is h and k, so we can plug those in. And remember h is kind of opposite of what it looks like, so once we plug negative 3 in for h, it's going to be x minus negative 3. So we can actually make this x plus 3 squared, and then we plug in negative 2 for k. Now when we simplify this, Let's leave A, just A for right now. We'll talk about A in just a second. But look what we have right here in the middle. We have the square of a binomial. So if you remember from previous videos, this factors as what we call a perfect square trinomial. If you don't remember the pattern, then you can always just go over here and FOIL it. So let's say we have x plus 3 times x plus 3. So we get x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9. Combine in the middle, so we get x squared plus 6x plus 9, okay? So x plus 3 squared, the square of a binomial, factors as the perfect square trinomial of x squared plus 6x. Okay, f of x equals a times x squared plus 6x plus 9, and then minus 2 on the end. Now we have 9 and minus 2 right here. These are like terms. We can go ahead and combine those. So let's say f of x equals a times x squared plus 6x and then plus 7, right? 9 minus 2. Now with a, a can really be anything we want it to be. Uh, we can plug anything we want in for a because we're just going to multiply it. And that's just like vertically stretching or shrinking this parabola. But the vertex itself is not going to change. It's still going to be at negative 3, negative 2, okay? So if I have a right here, I could just let a equal 1. So if we plug in 1 for a, then that just takes a away, right? So if I plug 1 in right here, now I can say f of x equals x squared plus 6x plus 7. And that would be my final equation in standard form once we started from vertex form, okay? So that's how you take a quadratic in vertex form and transform it into standard form.